head off work now. I'm headed to, uh, first gonna stop by my grandparents for a second, and then I'm headed to get Tacoma, and we're gonna try something here over the next few weeks and kind of see how it plays out. Um, so I thought I'd bring you along, and I ain't gonna tell you exactly what it is yet. You have to wait until we get where we're going. I'm gonna run and get to Tacoma real quick, and we'll see you here in just a second. That's a long ways down right there. What are you doing? Are you supposed to be standing up in my seat? Thank you. Brat. All right, guys, sorry about the shakiness here. On this wrong, pretty long dirt road that's basically just washed border completely out. It's pretty rough um, as far as beaching to death. It's not rough as far as driving on it, but it's got a lot, bunch of little bumps in it. But you may be wondering what we're doing and what I was talking about. Uh, over the next, uh, we're going camping again, uh, probably up here to Charlotte's Creek tomorrow. Um, with the time y'all see this, it will have been this past weekend. Uh, in other words, today's Thursday night. So tomorrow, Friday, we'll be headed camping again. With Tyler's coming, we're gonna go up to Charlotte's Creek. Uh, but over the next couple weeks, me and Tacoma is gonna camp. Uh, I'm gonna try my best to camp every single night. Uh, not even go back to the house. I may end up having to go over to my hunting uh, land once or twice, get him some more dog food or or something like that. I've got a lot of you know plates and cups and that kind of crap and that kind of shit. Sorry about that. Bunch of kids. Uh, so anyway. Uh, you know, just to restock on stuff like that instead of going to the store and buying it. But as far as everything else, food and everything else, I'm going to go buy it and just stay in the truck for a couple weeks and see how we like it. Uh, I'm thinking awfully seriously about just moving into the truck. Um, I'm, I'm tired of having so many bills for something when I'm gone. I'm in the woods every chance I get anyway. So why not just get off work and go straight to the woods? Save all that money. Uh, so that's just something I'm thinking about, but I figured I'd bring y'all along and you know, I guess we'd experience this together because, you know, I'm going to have to wake up extra early to get everything packed up. I'm going to have to wake up extra early to, you know, to be able to get out of where I, wherever I am back to the to, to work. So, I don't know, I just figured we'd try it for a few weeks and see how we like it. And, uh, sorry about that. See how we like it and just go from there. As the spot that me and Tacoma was headed to, uh, it looks like somebody's actually living down there. They had like a one of them canopies that you would that I used to use that y'all used to see on my old videos like a little 10 by 10 accordion thing they had one of them set up with like two big old rooms on each side made out of tarps and there was no cars there but there was a fire and lights and stuff so I'm assuming somebody must be staying there for a while uh, but I found this beautiful place right here next to the river but I wanted to show you right here's the reason why everything keeps getting shut down people left all this trash beer bottles right there next to my tire and papers and freaking beer boxes and just stuff everywhere there's a beer box I mean stuff just trashed everywhere that's why a lot of our places are getting shut down it's our land but you got idiots like this that don't take care of nothing uh, so first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna tie Comer up because Right there is the road. You can see how close we are to the road. Where's that? Oh, right there. So I'm going to tie him up for real quick. I'm going to get all this paper and crap picked up and get a fire started. And then I'm going to get my tent and stuff open. Oh, I was going to burn this box. And it's slap full of beer bottles. So I guess I'll take that. People are just straight up nasty, and they don't take care of anything.
Let me show y'all here. I don't know what in the world they were doing down here. But I'm pretty sure that's blood on that. Because theirs is gloves. And that's a sterile pack. I don't know what in the hell people were doing down here. Whether well, it's meth heads or what, but I'm, I'm definitely not touching that. Look, there's another medic glove or finger glove, whatever the hell you call them things. So I'm not touching that. Um, I don't have gloves or anything else, and I'm not about to catch the Gonocephalitis crabs, that's for sure. So I got that box of beer bottles and stuff I'm going to take out to the shop tomorrow and throw it in the trash. So I'm going to get a fire started and we'll get the tent put up. These little things right here, it's almost like a like a half a world looking or half a ball looking thing, whatever you want to call that. I think they're like wood chips with glue in it, but uh, my dad actually found these somewhere. I need to find out where he did. He gave me the like five or six he had. But it takes just a second and you get it lit and it'll burn for a while and it'll definitely get you a little, you know, kindling and stuff started. He's getting bit by mosquitoes. All these little small pieces. Put them right there. Definitely a... And yes, I'm using a lighter. I got the whole magnesium stick and all that crap, but honestly, it ain't raining, so why can't I just use my lighter? Work smarter, not harder. Ow. I like to, which I know everybody does it, but probably wondering why I chop it like that. I usually leave it connected. I don't know why. Probably because it's probably the wrong way of doing it, but it's my way, I guess. It tends to work for me, but there's a million different ways to do it. Mine's probably wrong, but it works. paper towel because I got to show you what happened on the way in here. Uh, I made a friggin mess. Basically what happened. Which is nothing new with me. I did here before the, whoa y'all are zoomed away and I'll show you what happened here before my camera battery dies. I'm going to have to put y'all on charge. Uh, like like every single time it seems to be with this channel, I forget about camera batteries. Uh, I actually put it on charge and everything like I was supposed to, but I run off and left it at work. But you can see all this stuff I got out and how it's green. Well, look what's missing. That crap dumped all in my deck drawer. Turn it all around here. Look at this crap. Everything that's shiny is not supposed to be shiny. So I now have to get all of that crap out of my drawer before I can sit down and relax. So let me get this stuff cleaned up and so I can save some camera battery 
get my stove and everything set up and then I'll be back with you in a minute. About seven o'clock, seven fifteen, I think. We're getting woke up here. There's old Comer. He actually woke me up whining because he's tired of being on that chain. Uh, beautiful waterfall, that's for sure. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Let's see. Can you? Oh, oh, way too fast to zoom. All right. Well, we're gonna get a shower and everything and head to work. Uh, we're headed camping again tonight, so I guess that's where I'll end it here. And I guess we'll see y'all tomorrow. But don't forget to smash that subscribe button and like and comment and all that stuff. And until next time, y'all have a good one.